welcome to this month's video. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on The Boy's Lament for His Dragon, which is a Scottish march, and I'm going to be teaching you the tune, and then I'm going to teach you a variation on the tune. So let's get right down to business. First of all, the tune is in D major, so let's get our finger positions on the fiddle for this. So a D major scale starts on your open D, and let's play that together. So no weird finger positions there, but this tune is also going to go on to the E string, and on the E string in D major, we have a G natural, so that is a low E2. That low 2. And then in the B part of this tune, there's going to be one moment where on the A string, instead of playing our second finger in the normal position, we're going to play a low two. So just be aware of that. Okay, so let's go through the tune phrase by phrase and learn it by ear. Here's the A part. I'm going to play it all the way through first. One, two, three, four. of the tune starts with your open A. Let's do that again. And one more time. Open Next phrase starts with your low second finger on the E string. Again. And again. Two, one, one, two, three, open, one, open, two, open. is exactly the same as the first phrase. Let's do that again. Here's the last phrase of the A part. Starts with your low second finger on the E. A part. I'm going to play it in parts one more time. You can pause after each part and try replaying that part. Here's the first part. Second part. Third part. And the fourth part. All right, first half of the A, so a larger part. You can try pausing and playing after. Starts with your open A. One, two, three, four. Second part of the A starts with your open A string. One, two, three, four.
And now let's do the whole A part a couple times through. One, two, three, four. got the A part, let's go on to the B. So the B part sounds like this, I'll play it all the way through once. One, two, three. That's the B part, let's go through it phrase by phrase. Here's the first part of the B. It starts with a couple pickup notes, starting with your first finger on the E string. One, two, three. those phrases at the B part again and you can pause afterwards and try and repeat them. So here's the first one. Start with your first finger on the E string. One, two, three. Try it out. And here's the second phrase. Start with your open A. Here's the third phrase, same as the first. Start with your first finger on E. One, two, three. Last phrase of the B part starts with your open A. One, two, three. All right, longer phrases. Let's do the first half of the B, then you can pause and try and um, echo what I played. So here's the first half of the B. One, 
two, three. Your turn. Okay, let's try the second half of the B part now. Starts with your first finger on E. One, two, three. So now let's try it twice through, nice and slow. Try playing along. Here we go. One, two, three. That is the whole tune. Um, good job. Let's try playing it through a few times. I'm gonna play it slowly once, then medium speed, and then up to speed. So feel free at any point to pause, and go back and play one of the slower versions or play the medium version again. Um, but this is just a good way for you to start to see if you can get the tune up to speed. So here we go, slow first, then medium, then fast. One, two, three, go.
learning the tune, we are now going to dive into the variation. So there are two things we're going to do in this variation. The first is an ornament called a hammer-on. It uses a little quick grace note. And the second is just a melodic variation. We're going to put in a couple melodic variations in this tune. So first, here is the A part of the variation. I will play it through for you so you get a sense of what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So that's the whole A part of the variation. So the first thing we're going to do is add a hammer-on. Um, we're basically just going to do this every single time you go from the open A up to the third finger. So a hammer-on starts on the note just below the melody note and then it goes, you play that note below really quickly and then you get to the melody note. So for example, if the melody note is a third finger on the A, so a D note, then a hammer-on would be just the grace note right below that, so your second finger, and then you play your third finger right after that. So it goes like this. But you want to do it real fast. Um, so some people leave the second finger down when they put the third finger down. I actually pick mine up because I like the, the sort of ringy sound you get on the third finger if you pick up the second finger. So that's a hammer-on, and that is going to happen actually right at the start of the tune. So it's gonna happen right here. Hammer-on. So, hammer-on. And so if we just added hammer-ons to the A part, this is what it would be. add a lot. Okay, so let's add some melodic variations. So in marches, um, you get a lot of quarter notes, and I like to divide up the quarter notes into some eighth notes and kind of dance around the melody a little bit with some eighth notes. So for example, in the part of the tune that goes where we would normally just have a actually a half note there on the F sharp. Um, I'm going to make that into four eighth notes, so it's just going to go, all right, so that part's going to go, so here's how that sounds in the context of the phrase. Okay, so there's another part where we can do that, so after that part it goes, that really long note on the open A. So let's replace that with some fun eighth notes. Instead of, we're gonna go, let's do that again. So that phrase would go like this. And if we put that in the larger phrase, it would sound like this. All right, let's try the A part adding our hammer-ons and melodic variations. One, two, three, four. Hammer-on. Melodic variation. Melodic variation. Alright, on to the B part. 
Also in the B part, all we're doing is adding a hammer-on and some melodic variations. So here's the whole B part uh, variation so you can hear what it sounds like. One, two, three. In a, the places where we have a bunch of quarter notes and half notes, we're adding a ton of eighth notes. I'm just going to play that whole first phrase where I added all the eighth notes. And you can pause and try playing it back. So it goes like this. One, two, three. I'm going to play that again. One, two, three. opportunity for a hammer-on in this next phrase. Hammer-on to that third finger. And then we're going to play a bunch of eighth notes again. Let's just play that part again. Start with your first finger on the E. Let's do it again. All right, so that whole second phrase goes like this now. Hammer on. All right, now we're pretty much normal to the end. We're just gonna go. Nothing to see here, but now a hammer on right here. All right, so let's try the whole B part nice and slow. We'll try adding our hammer-ons and melodic variations. One, two, three. Melodic variation. Hammer-on. Melodic variation. Let's try playing it slow, medium, and fast. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
guys, that is the whole thing, um, the tune and the variation. And if you want to learn all the different parts that are in the arrangement right at the beginning of this video, there's um, fiddle backup parts like chords and long tones, there's a harmony part, there are guitar chords. You have everything that you need to know to learn that is in the fiddle tune kit that I made for the boy's lament for his dragon. Um, you can get those by subscribing to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash music. And um, you can also get sheet music, learning recordings, all of that for everything that we talked about today. I hope you like this tune. I hope you have a ton of fun playing it and also just saying the title of it because it's a really cool title. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video, but happy fiddling in the meantime. Bye guys.